Hostile is being bullied so heavily by just Pilot Dime. Puppy. Don't come across when the Wild Wing throws out the tornado, but Art Style not really accomplishing anything up on this top lane. While you know, you look at the deficit that this has kind of created with Earth Spirit sitting mid, the Enchantress trying to help out top lane. Actually, they're going onto Puppy, and maybe he's overextended. The Doom slowed out. Maybe a bash from General. It's all they need. They don't even have to get the first blood of the Puppy, and Art Style will heal up and damage down Eternal Envy. He's got a pounce and should be fine to escape from General, though. He's hungry for more. Crystal Maiden was completely dominating Dityara, dropping him very low with the double boars and now forcing him back out of lane as Puppy. Oh, he's going to spot him too. I think he's going to go for this one if Dityara decides to move back down and he's going to his Puppy. Oh, Scotch down the blast. He's got the hit. There we go. Slows him up, burns through him with the Santa blast. He's waiting, biting his time. He's looking for the perfect angle by the stone. The kick from Seneko and TP back to the tier two. And Dityara the wolves, will he get the perfect block, Puppy? Did you all through the trees and they're gonna, oh, gonna make his way all the way up? Lycan. How is he doing this? It's not gonna be enough though. Maybe to get the counter kill onto Puppy, but did you all you just gonna continue oh, going through the trees? Power shot from Wade yeah. finally secures the kill, and that's a hot in mouth moment Radiant for Secret just being run ragged around. Yeah, meanwhile, atop like as well, they lose the faceless void, and Art Style goes to the dive. Eternal Envy barely makes it out. Doesn't commit the creep and the Eternal Envy has no mana or no, HP to speak right. of, but is going to be able to get the kill and get out. And that's got to be a heartbreaker so far for Navi. They lose two heroes across the map. The Lycan works so hard for that. Unable to survive though, and Puppy picks up a decent amount of XP. You know, you've got your Treads and Midas. We're going to see the Fatter style Rod of Ato, so we're going to look towards, you know, a, a Blink Dagger now. I don't think Atos is worth it in a game like this. It's... They don't have the best team fight setup as Chrono with her Lenvy. Sunstrike should be good. We'll finish him off. And a shackle shot, even from Weeha, to try and block out as much of that damage as they possibly can. Pilot diving, chased down by the big bad wolf, but the frostbite pulls did you right in place, and Puppy turns the battle Pilot through. So Pilot dead. die, chased into the trees, but art style. Shackle doesn't last. Weeha, oh, you got to try and deal with this guy. Did you right? chases him back behind the tier two, but the wind run is there. Back on the other side of the fight, though. Misery, he's roared up one. Puppy with the wild wing tornado stands his ground. And gets bashed through, but Navi have cleared up three. That was a really weird time for Puppy to be like, I'm gonna make my stand. <laughs> there was really no way in. They'll TP across the tier one, but Roshan, oh, if General can get himself a little bit closer, he's not gonna go for it. Roshan will go the way of Team Secret, but what can they do with it? Because Weehar is being forced back by Arstar. If this damage is good, Chrono down onto Weehar alone. The Sunstrike is not enough to kill him off, but with a good bash from General. <laughs> Two quick kills. Deny as well. So, did you rather this Lycan? You know, we're looking at that, that Necro 3 timing coming. So 21, 22 minutes, something along those lines. Is that when? Oh, I turn Lenvy gets the shadow death off. TP's away. This is a oh, kick. Getting... Wait, hang on, what? The, the rock kick get cancelled, but he's gonna turn Lenvy. Dark oh, packed it off. He's healing himself up. The pound is in eight, but they've got vision up on the high ground with a sentry barely. That was the most clutch sentry of our cell's life. Blink here for Secret, both Wind Ranger and Beastmaster have been able to pick up those mobility items. Slark, a turn Lenvy has TP available. And they're definitely posturing for defense of this tier two. The question is, Radiant's can Poppy get the wraparound in for a good doom onto the good target? He really wants Dendi or General if possible, but General's setting up. I think General's even okay with Poppy. You man, look across into the trees. No, he's stuck a little bit. The shackle shot will latch. Did you ride on style? They've got the doom back up to the Enchantress, and they've actually caught them and trapped them in with Weehaw, spamming out the damage from his focus fire. Oh no, Dendi tries his best. But Secret in full retreat will bail themselves back behind the tier two while the turn enemies join the fight actually looking in for a kill on the but that untouchable with the ice wall as well. Not only your attacks are slowed, but your movement speed as well. Misery finally blinks aggressively forward and the shackle shot catches on Aiko. Earth Spirit tries the kick. But Secret take no casualties. Is Veil in vogue now, Blitz? Uh, I just think it's one of those items that gives you good stats overall, and for a hero like Earthspirit especially, it pumps up everything as... They're gonna make this move on a day, you wrong. Shackle shot into focus bar, but in comes Seneca with a Veil down, and the Magnetize, they might be able to save him, but it's your wrong Veil! No, the Lightning Brock from the Maelstrom! They really want to get at least Weeha out of this one. 
With the Chrono, General might be able to. Sunstrike is there. The damage is good. And they've got the kill. One for one, but, but it's not going to be that just yet. The Turtle Envy found one. The Roar on the Dendi. The damage output. The roll forward. The kick is not quite there from Zaneko. And Secret will find two. Looking for three. Arstar has no more sprites to save him. The kick away. Oh, the attempt to push Enchantress back into the base, back into the fountain where it's nice and safe and warm just wasn't successful. And here come the buybacks. One, maybe looking for two or three, but you've got to remember there's no Chrono. There's I think no you have to do Dendi ultimate. minimum. But... Bring back Dendi and Nard style, but look at the Crimson Guard, the damage output. Sure, Impetus is doing a decent amount. I know it's there with the Meatball as well. Dendi definitely blasts the time. He pounces out. The change to Deafening allows the Slark to escape. <gasps> Sunstrike, no! Oh, he clips him. Dendi! Somehow, the godlike Sunstrike raining pain from the heavens onto Eternal Envy. They have to make something out of this, though. They've grouped themselves up, but... Highlight Eternal Envy. Even He's been Jordan spotted. The split push action, you're right. General jumps himself away. Eternal Envy. He's alone for now with the Chrono out. They'll get the Sunstrike. Where's the rest of the combo? Eternal Envy rolled in onto the shot. Just perfect. General did you up on court. Oh, Eternal Envy definitely glasses around. there, but the dog pack keeps him flowing, keeps him fighting. Ditura is still alive. And then now chases down Puppy through his own jungle and brings him down. The rest of Secret, hot retreat, but we are. Oh, look at the damage! Impetus shots and like and swipes bring him down so bloody quickly, but now being gonna again. lose the racks. There's a glyph here. Misery and Turtle Envy both up on the high ground. Tornado EMP through from Dendi. The ice wall catches him. No kick. The kick off the mark, but Misery will lose his life and his gem. Navi defend. Ages up, I guess, and give cheese to Dendi. Or the other way around, cheese is pretty good on liking with a shapeshift, and Dendi could use that agency to mortal. Yeah, I think you give Dendi the Aegis. Almost no questions here. Oh, are they jumping on his mid general? Oh god, he's been caught. The tornado though. Why is the combo? They have to get the him. meteor depthing glass is there and they actually paradise They can knock out puppy, puppy before the puppy. doom. No doom! But turn Levy turns back on Ditura, catches him with a pounce as well, but Ditura has the cheese available still. Tonako shackled through, but we are Windrun gets him oh, out of the dodge. He blinks himself to the northeast. And what happened to Envy? He had the Shadow Dance available, but I don't think that he thought that Art Style was going to do that much damage to him. As he goes down for free, as Misery's being chased down by Dendi now, who manages to get the Cold Snap off on him. But Misery's immediately going to pop the Necro Books. Dendi's still on the hunt. And this is just Misery wasting time right now for Envy, who doesn't have the buyback. Always been Navi, finding these in ideal engagements where they're able to knock off either uh eternal envy off the bat or more importantly puppy because i really feel like they need the doom especially if there's no lincoln's or anything available and oh blink blink puppy Two puppy oh, silence now stun. though they've got digiro on the side there with the raw the freezing field look at him go the cheese is available but he doesn't even use it did you raw shredded by secret and the roll across doom on the general so there's no chrono here and so they so go one get fight, but down he goes general chased out by eternal envy and this smoke has been perfect Team Secret. Yeah, they're gonna nail three heroes here almost immediately. Fortunately for them, they still have the buyback available on everybody but the Void, which might them might make them a little bit more hesitant, and they have to wait for the waves to push in. So Navi can just hold as is. Look at what Dendi's doing. He's actually double stacked this wave while all the fighting was happening. The Forge Spirits is now dragging creeps across the map. The racks are still falling though, even through the back door regeneration. They've got the damage. They've got all they need. Look at that positioning. Even though the Hawk is coming to take his place now, the changing of the guard, the doom for the Hawk, and actually he still wants to stick around and maybe even wait for Navi to come in and wander up onto the high ground. How long does that invis last? A fair amount of time still on it, and it's going to be perfect. The smoke pops, the Necro 3 is down, but Puppy blinks away. The Necro is not in time, and General, he doesn't have blink, doesn't have time warp. They've got the Crystal Maiden in their sights, and the blink forward of the Chrono. Catching only Puppy, no PRs on the back. The BKP Wind Ranger still going to get ripped to shreds by the impetus damage of Art Style and taken out of the game. Like it, meanwhile, takes down Pylai Dai, and without the Doom available, again, secret, they're just not able to hold. And once again, it came down to who got the initiation off. Puppy. He's having difficulties actually utilizing that Doom. 3,000 gold though saved up. Oh, hang on a second. Dendi, he's actually aiming and looking for Misery. Caught him with the Ice Wall Tornado and Misery. 
cannot TP out. Forfeit his life. For the greater good of Dendi. Yep, those Necro units are annoying. Definitely blast them down. But he did allow a turn Lambie to escape at the very least. Yeah, you just go for the free pick off at that point. They've done a really good job so far of using the wall. Oh, blink forward. Chrono's there onto EE. Is there any damage though? Impetus damage from the low ground. No, they're looking for Weehaw. The Hex is there from Dendi and Wind Ranger. Look at trying to defend. The turn left being caught by the Dark Pack. will take it off. The Bale's still up on him and he's Oh, so Nico's going to keep going for this. His Shadow Dance and the yep, Dendi wants the kill. Ice Fall out. Deafening Blast is there. A turn left PKPs, but he's going to pounce himself back to safety a little bit further. Buyback from Weehaw's Wind Ranger. Maybe Navi have looked to overextend, but... They'll bail themselves out, force the buyback, force the BKB. And they're just playing hot potato with the lead right now. The marauding hordes of summons and units out from Na'Vi. The tornado will catch one off to the back. They think that's the real one. It's an illusion though from the Manta style of Eternal Envy. But they'll just send the Necronus up onto the high ground with a glyph available for secret. Defending this Rax is still going to be difficult, but the Blink forward, they've got the duo of the Generals, there's going to be no Chrono, the Blink, where's the Raw? Misery target up, did you Raw? They've got the Lycan, the Deafening Blast, the oh, Leak of Two, the Deafening Blast for the Meteor, they've killed off EE e. and Misery. Puppy stuck in the Ice Wall for a little while, but falls back away in the buyback with the Lycan, we'll bringing it to the fight again, we are, he's got no buyback, he has to try and buy back Chrono, General, he's got the Wind Ranger, and it's turned on me. Look at his HP! He has to shut him down to try and run himself away, but an ultra kill for our style. Highlight Eye tries his best, but a rampage for our style's enchantress. He will finally drop to misery, who battles it out 1v3. But Team Secret, they're on the rope splits. It's nearly coming to the end of game number two. Buybacks out from Na'Vi as Void and Earthspread with the Enchantress as well. Look for the tier fours. Look for the game. Look for the throne. And that's a show of force if I've ever seen one. When everybody buys back, it's only Envy by himself. They've been tracking buybacks. Na'Vi senses the win and after the first game, a lot of people predict for this to be 2-0, but Na'Vi battling back from the deficit. They're going to take this game off the back of an art style enchantress and a dendi invoker that just would not quit. Oh man. Oh man. Navi. Game number two, taking it off Team Secret. And like you said, 25, 30 minutes in, it looked like Secret were going to start playing that game they love so much. Choking out the map, limiting farm from Navi, and just trying to force errors, force the hand of Navi into slipping up here or there.